Well, this was not the video I planned to make this morning. Uh, there was a lot of interesting news that hit over the weekend. But before I get a video done on that stuff, which I'm sure some of it you guys already know about, uh, some breaking news happened it, uh, really as I was in the middle of recording. And I guess that's not really breaking news. It's more of a discovery that surprisingly uh, I didn't even know about, and I'm betting you didn't know about either. So Splatoon 2 has local built-in voice chat when you're playing over LAN, you know, local area network. So uh, right now it only works in Salmon Run, and uh, here's what the here's what Peter Cobra had to say about it on NeoGAF where I found it. Uh, it said, so this isn't about normal wireless play. It's the one where you're all connected to the same router and you press a button combination. I think it's L plus R plus left stick. Then use the router in a LAN configuration. Uh, this is much more stable than just wirelessly interconnected switches, which is true. Uh, while the switch has a solid connection when you're interconnecting, interconnecting them, if you all connect through a central hub, it actually works a lot better. Um, and he says, which is why we did it last week for our Splatoon game in a pub. One of us had a microphone on his headphones, and the second we switched to the LAN lobby, we heard what he was saying very loudly in our speakers. It was quite a shock, really. This means they implemented seamless voice chat, no app required, but it allowed using it only for LAN play, not even normal local wireless. You know, so, okay, anyways, I'll get into that in a moment. Which, frankly, is probably the least useful scenario for voice chat, since you're probably all in the same room anyways. Uh, edit. Hopefully someone is going to double check and maybe even properly test this before I try it again. If you are, here are some tips for going to the LAN lobby. Go to the local multiplayer lobby, which is the shoal. Press and hold the combination of buttons L plus R plus left stick for a few seconds until the game fades out of the lobby. It then fades back into the same lobby, but in a LAN setup. Obviously, you'll all need to be on the same local network, which means all of you are connected to the same router or Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, and he, there's also a link provided to uh, the support website, which explains how to get a, a LAN thing going. Uh, so there's like official support to, to show you how to do LAN stuff for Splatoon 2, because it's not very obvious, button combinations and all that. But this is very interesting to me. Um, it is almost the least useful situation to have voice chat locally on a system uh, because it's literally only when you're in a LAN situation. Now, uh, I think the idea of including the, the localized voice chat in the game in a LAN situation would be for things like competitive multiplayer tournaments, uh, you know, pro players. But it only works in Salmon Run. Which, or Salmon Run, you know, whatever, you guys can yell at me for my pronunciation of, of Salmon if you want. It's it's weird when I think about that's the situation it's useful in. And it's used in that because everyone's on the same team no matter what. Uh, so the game obviously doesn't have the ability, you know, local chat-wise to tell when you're on different teams and only let you chat with the different teams. So it's a very rudimentary setup is what it sounds like. Uh, and the fact that it only works in LAN, it doesn't even work in wirelessly connecting your your switches together directly. Uh, it just really weird it doesn't work in that way. But this is this brings up um, the old conversation on voice chat on the Switch. And it's something I haven't touched on in a while because I didn't feel like there was anything. There was no new information, right? We don't know what was going to happen once the online service is launched. Uh, but this is the first time uh in the entire conversation of voice chat on switch that we have definitive evidence that the switch has the capability for localized voice chat on the system it can do it because here's an example a real world example in splatoon 2 of local voice chat on the switch working no app required that is something that uh clearly wasn't designed out of the system, if that makes sense. Uh, it means it was something that was at least thought of at one point. Um, and it's very interesting because we've been told for a long time that the app is, is the only way to voice chat. Well, clearly that's not true. And we were told that the app is the only way 
Um, the, the reason they're using the app is because it makes more sense. It takes processing power away from the switch and yada yada. yada. Here's an example of localized voice chat over a local area network in Splatoon 2. Um, again, it doesn't work in 4v4 because it, it doesn't know how to separate the teams. So, like, you could chat in the lobby, but it doesn't... Well, once you split off in the teams, you kind of lose the chatting ability. Uh, because, again, it doesn't know how to... It doesn't know how to split you up so, like, you could hear all the other teams chattering and yelling and hooting and hollering and all that stuff. Uh, this is just a really interesting thing to me uh, because I've been an advocate of localized voice chat on Switch really from day one. I don't mind the app as an option. Unfortunately, it's a bad option right now because the voice chat on the app itself isn't very good. You literally do anything else on your phone and you're kicked out of voice chat. Uh, it's not a, a very elegant solution. Uh, I've had some people reporting issues getting certain headsets to work with their uh, with their phone, and, and I've heard decrease in audio quality, and obviously, you know, if you're on Wi-Fi or not on Wi-Fi, is really going to affect quality as well. Um, what kind of phone you have, what kind of hardware it's rocking. Now, there's a lot of different factors that can come into effect for, um, you know, talking over a phone. Plus, the fact that there's so many different devices out there uh, in comparison to the Switch, which everyone switches exactly the same right now. Uh, you know, maybe you have different color joy cons, maybe you have cases on it, but the base hardware is exactly the same. And it just made sense to me that you should have local voice chat on the switch itself. Every other voice chat solution in the world is localized to the device, right? You want a voice chat on your PC, you do it through your PC. You want a voice chat on your Xbox or your PlayStation 4 or even the 3DS for crying out loud, you do it on the system. On the Wii U, you do it on the system. So Nintendo was the, this is the first time that a company's like, "Hey, look, we're going to have a device out there, but you don't actually use that to voice chat." So no, the Switch doesn't have voice chat. Uh, our app has voice chat. Um, it, it's it's a very strange thing. And plus, the, the obviously, we all know the app has a very poor version of voice chat as it is. Uh, so I'm just, I'm flabbergasted that uh, this exists. Because I thought Nintendo would be all in on the app at all times. And maybe this is not something they intended. Maybe it's something and a developer slipped in. Uh, and Nintendo is going to cut it out. In fact, I'd be very curious, and people on that local area network chatting through that, can they also chat uh, through the lobby system on their phone and have literally the exact same voice chat happening <laughs> on two different two different ways, like coming through your TV or coming through your Switch and coming through your phone? It's something I'm really curious uh, for more testing to be done, but this is... Uh, this is, I guess it's good news. It means that all the excuses about the Switch not being able to do it, it not being purpose-built for it, it, you know, whatever, is a bunch of bollocks. Uh, granted, the situation they're talking about is obviously where you have the, the headphone jack available, but it, it's still, man, this is what i want i want the switch to have localized voice chat i think the app is a really cool interesting idea needs to be fleshed out more but i love the idea of voice chat localized on switch i always have it's the most elegant solution for voice chat i think it's a solution that would make third parties happy it would make nintendo fans happy and if you still want to have voice chat on the app that's fine like i think the app should exist for situations where uh there's some really cool idea. Here, here's an idea, Nintendo, that you could use voice chat with on the app while still having it localized on Switch. So you have your localized voice chat, but on the app, you should be able to connect to a friend lobby uh, when you don't have your Switch on you and be able to chat with your friends while they're playing. In fact, I should be able to, through the app, be able to see a stream of my friend's matches as I'm talking to them. Uh, I think that would be really, really cool, uh, almost like a Twitch kind of thing. Uh, with me being able to directly talk to my friends in a lobby. And that's not even... Like, there's no friend lobby for chatting or anything. You only can chat in the games. Uh, and I feel like the the phone app could really expand on all of that and add additional functionality that, yeah, you could argue should be on the Switch, but generally, if you're on your Switch, you're playing games, so it makes some sense to separate that out for the phone app. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited by the prospects here, and I'm hoping that uh, this is a sign that Nintendo is willing 
someday to put voice chat back on the system and maybe this was a fail safe in case everyone was just repulsed by voice chat on the app and third parties were repulsed by it uh that nintendo's like look look it's okay we actually implemented the ability for it to exist and as for people who don't want to run run a cord across their living room from the headphone jack on the switch itself i get you um there are bluetooth wireless hub receivers also technically the switch has bluetooth in it it just needs to be enabled to allow headsets to connect to it uh, and that's literally a firmware update will do that. Nintendo just has to turn the setting on. So the Switch already has the capability to do that. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.